everyone, Mary Nimbson here with a quick and easy card challenge. I think this is number four, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, who gets new products and as soon as you look at it, you think, I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. That's what I did with this one. This is Julie Hickey Designs um, and it's called Julie's Daisies A6 Stamp Set. And I just, I saw this one and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what I want to do with that. With her release of this, um, which is available through Simon Says Stamp, um, it's available through Wow UK, not USA. You can only get them USA, I believe, from Simon Says Stamp. Um, there's a couple of places in Australia that do them, and there's other places, quite a lot of places in the UK that do Julie's um, designs. And they're the sort of designs that you can just keep going back to, you know, when you need to make a quick card. That's that's what I love about Julie's designs. And they're all hand-drawn, and I can't do that. So <laughs> I can do silly little things, but not like this. Um, but in this release, it's just a small release Julie's come out with this time. It's her Sweet Daisy stamp set, and then a Sweet Daisy die, which apparently everyone was asking for. So she does listen to her customers and she's bought out the die to go with the Sweet Daisy stamp set, along with Julie's Daisies as well. And I don't know if I've done this one, if whether it's come out before this video or after. I, I get a bit confused with my videos. Um, but anyway, I just saw this and I thought, okay, this is really quick and simple. So I am going to be using Sea Glass Dress Blues. Doesn't have to be Catherine Paula. They're just ones that I absolutely adore, um, and the colours are just beautiful. I've also got a little Waffle Flower um, shader number one, lovely little shading brush, and I'll show you why in a minute. I've also got some of her glosses, so I've got the Sugar Berries Glitter Dots. There's also Winter Berries Tutti Frutti. There's Cotton Candy Party Mix Earth Tones. There's loads, actually, and they're not just all in dots. There's different shapes. Um, I've got these ones in front of me because I'm really not sure what I'm going to use yet. I'll probably gravitate towards the sparkly ones, as you do. So if I just put those there. I've also got my Wow card. So I use my Wow A4 sheet. I cut it in half lengthways, score it. And then I've got a nice tent fold card or I've got a book fold card. I also use the Wow card for stamping on and, and especially for embossing. It's beautiful. It's a super smooth cardstock, so brilliant for that. And I'm also, because I'm using this these colours, I've got some of the Stamp Market Smooth Cardstock in navy. And bits that I haven't used, I just put back in here. So I'm going to use a bit of that. I'm going to need to chop it down by the looks of it, but I'll do that as we go along. Um, so yeah, let's let's just crack in and crack in, crack on, and use this one. Now, gonna use my stamp wheel. I am loving this, absolutely loving it. I'm upset that I've got pink all over it, but that's just because I'm a bit OCD. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I, I obviously didn't take care of it. Okay, so let's just put that there. Let's get my piece of wow cardstock around the right way and position this mm. oh it, do you know what it really doesn't matter where i position it i don't think <laughs> i haven't mastered this yet not by any means <laughs> so let me take my stamp i love this one i love this one obviously you can see i've used this Love this one. As I say, it just makes for a really quick and simple design. So I am going to... And could I use my Misty to do this? Absolutely I could. But I thought, no, I've bought the stamp wheel. I'm going to make myself use it. And I just like the fact that this holds onto it so well. It really does. So let me just move these out of the way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of bits of colouring. So first of all, I'm going to go in with the lightest colour, which is sea glass. If I put that, I meant to put it like that and then it don't move as much. So I get a bit of sea glass on there. And you could stamp this down and then add 
your other colour. But I'm going to pick up some of the dress blues with this little waffle flower brush. Love this. And then just dab the colour on in a few places. Could you emboss these? Absolutely you could. I'm not going to in this video, but you certainly could because even with Catherine's inks, although they're dye based, they do, they stay wet long enough to get embossing powder on. So let me just dab, dab, dab. And then let's flip the whole thing over like so and stamp it down. Beautiful. Now, if I was to, oh, perfect. Right, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean it a little bit. Let me just give that a, a clean, just so I don't contaminate my um, sea glass. I always think when I get this all over the baby wipe, I wanna let it dry and then die cut flowers from it. I will do that one day. I've been crafting for years now. Never done it. I do it with tissue. But yeah. Okay, so let's do that again. Let's go sea glass. And this would work with your distress inks, your distress oxides. And any inks that you've got, these just happen to be the ones that I have. Let's just go... I love this because, I mean, I've got them in a few different sizes. My friend Donna got them for me. Thank you, Donna. Um, and there's some, like, flathead ones and then these round ones. But I like that there's different sizes. Some of them are really small. And then you can, you can actually, let me just make sure I'm lined up before I stick it down. There we go. Um... Yeah, you've got real good control where they go. I'm sure there's other ones out there. See, look at that. Isn't that just lovely? Just like that. I'm going to give that a clean and then take that off. So I could add glitter to that. I could add embossing glitter if I wanted. But I feel, I think I might use these glosses these glitter glosses so they're the glitter dots sugar berries and then that will give me a little bit of glitter so i am going to right let me just put that there a minute put this back i'm trying to be neat and tidy as i go along okay so another bit of wow card i'm just going to put that in there I'm treating it a bit like a misty i put it in the corner but I keep forgetting, because this is so lovely and sticky, I don't need to do that because it's holding it down anyway. So let's just take the happy birthday sentiment. And I'm just going to pop it probably about there. hope I'm in shot. Um, grab that. Move that out of the way. And then just do... Just go gently with it, Marion, because you're a little bit heavy handed. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. That's nice. I still went quite heavy. I, I'm, I'm so heavy handed. I'm terrible. I really am. But... That is nice. Let's put this back. And then I'm just going to chop this out. Let's just give that a little, put that over there. Dry this off. I'll just grab me, me fiskers. chop a tiny bit off and then another little bit did I go close mm, not too bad let's just grab my scissors yeah that's not too bad what I am gonna do 
is cut another little bit that's just slightly wider. Not too much. Get that out of the way. Put that on so I can guide it. And then I can see the angle that I cut that at. And then snip that, just so it's slightly bigger. Move these out of the way. And then I'll probably, let's have a look. I only want to go around the edges. I shouldn't have cleaned my brush. <laughs> I cleaned it on my baby wipe. And I could have left it. Just get some of that dress blues on there. Oops. Clean it off of there because I'll end up with it all over the place. I am trying to clean with a dirty baby wipe, which really doesn't help. And then I'm gonna I'm just gonna clean my hands because I know I'll end up getting it all over the other bit. I need to get in a habit of doing this. Okay, so let me just take some little foam pads. Snip. And then, oh, that can go there. That can go there. And then that can go there. And then I'm just going to mount this on. And then I'm going to chop down that blue cardstock so that it's going to just stick out a little bit from this one and then fit inside the card base. And then, yeah, let's have a look what these look like. I feel like the silver, because the silver's just so pretty, but the gold, the gold goes nice as well. No, I'm gonna go silver. So I'm gonna put a couple of silver, bigger ones. They're lovely, these, because you get like 90 pieces and you get them in three different sizes. And I don't know if you've ever seen any of my other videos, where I have taken Judy's ones, say like this, and then I put um, put in embossing ink on there and then put embossing glitter on there, just a translucent one, and then heat set it. And they take the heat perfectly, so you can make them all, all the plain ones, you can make sparkly, you can change the colors with them. They're just, they're fabulous, they really are. So do I wanna, if I just go, Oh, a little one there and a little one there. Come on, you. And then I, then I start looking and feeling like, should I do all of them? I don't need to do all of them. But look, look how simple but effective that card is and how quick and easy it was to make. And that's all down to the stamps. So that's just down to having really simple designed stamps. And then you can do things like that. So there you go. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye.